You might be eating something right now that's making your joints hurt, your stomach bloat, and your energy disappear, and you wouldn't even know it. Chronic inflammation is one of the biggest silent threats to your body. It's linked to everything from fatigue to heart disease, but here's what's great. You don't need extreme diets or expensive supplements to fight it. Some of the best anti-inflammatory weapons are already sitting in your kitchen. You just have to know which ones to eat and how often. Chronic inflammation is different from the short-term kind your body uses to heal a cut or fight off a cold. That kind is helpful, but when inflammation sticks around every day, even without injury or illness, it starts causing real damage. It can make your immune system confused. Instead of protecting you, it begins attacking healthy cells. Over time, that raises your risk for arthritis, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, certain cancers, and even depression. And the worst part is, you often don't feel it happening. You might just notice that you're more tired than usual. Maybe your joints feel stiff in the morning. Maybe your skin is breaking out or your digestion is off. These are all signs your body might be dealing with low level, constant inflammation. Luckily, what you eat each day plays a big role in whether that inflammation gets worse or starts to calm down. Food one, turmeric is one of the most well-known natural anti-inflammatory ingredients and for good reason. The active compound in turmeric is called curcumin and it targets inflammation at the source. It blocks a molecule in your cells called NFKB. That molecule acts like an on switch for inflammation genes. When you block it, you reduce the production of inflammatory chemicals in the body. Curcumin has been shown in studies to reduce symptoms of joint pain and even work as well as some anti-inflammatory drugs without the side effects. But there's a catch. Curcumin doesn't absorb well into your bloodstream on its own. That's where black pepper comes in. It contains a compound called piperine, which boosts curcumin absorption. That means if you're adding turmeric to your food, always throw in a pinch of pepper. You can mix turmeric into scrambled eggs, soups, or blend it into a smoothie with ginger and banana. Just don't expect a miracle after one teaspoon. The key is daily use. Food two. Now let's talk about fatty fish like salmon, sardines, and mackerel. These fish are packed with omega-3 fatty acids, especially EPA and DHA. These are anti-inflammatory fats that reduce the levels of inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein or CRP. High CRP is often found in people with chronic inflammation and heart disease. Omega-3s also help reduce joint pain, protect brain health, and improve mood. If you've ever wondered why some people swear they feel better after eating fish a few times a week, this is why. Even canned fish can do the job. Canned wild salmon, for example, is affordable and rich in omega-3s. Just make sure it's not packed in too much oil or salt. If you don't like fish, omega-3 supplements made from algae are a plant-based option, but real food always works best. Aim for at least two servings of fatty fish per week if you can. Food three. Berries might look sweet and innocent, but they're actually little inflammation fighting machines. Blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries all contain powerful antioxidants called anthocyanins. These help reduce oxidative stress, which is one of the triggers for inflammation. Oxidative stress happens when free radicals build up in your body and damage cells like rust on metal. Berries fight that process by neutralizing those harmful molecules before they do damage. There's more. One study found that people who ate blueberries every day had lower blood pressure and improved blood vessel function. Another showed that strawberries helped reduce inflammatory markers in people with metabolic syndrome. And the bonus? They taste good. You can toss berries into oatmeal, layer them in yogurt, or just eat them by the handful. Frozen berries work just as well as fresh ones, and they last longer. Food four. Now, if you're tired of hearing how healthy kale is, there's a reason it keeps showing up. Leafy greens like kale, spinach, arugula, and collard greens are full of polyphenols, vitamins, and minerals that help your body lower inflammation. They're especially high in vitamins A, C, and K, as well as magnesium and folate. 
These nutrients work together to reduce oxidative stress, support your immune system, and protect your cells. Leafy greens also help maintain a healthy gut, which is more important than most people realize. About 70% of your immune system is actually in your gut. If your gut bacteria are out of balance, it can trigger inflammation throughout your body. Greens provide fiber and compounds that help feed good gut bacteria and lower the chance of that happening. Try adding spinach to eggs or smoothies or saute kale with olive oil and garlic for a quick side dish. Speaking of olive oil, this one is a real standout. Food 5. Extra virgin olive oil contains oleocanthal, which has anti-inflammatory properties similar to ibuprofen. That means it can help reduce pain and inflammation, especially when used daily. Olive oil is a core part of the Mediterranean diet, which has been shown to lower the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even Alzheimer's disease. But not all olive oil is created equal. You want extra virgin, cold pressed, and stored in a dark bottle. This keeps the antioxidants intact. Light olive oil or blended versions don't offer the same benefits. Use it as your main cooking oil, drizzle it over salads or steamed vegetables, or even dip fresh bread in it for a simple snack. Food 6. Nuts like almonds, walnuts, and pistachios are also excellent anti-inflammatory options. They provide healthy fats, magnesium, vitamin E, and fiber. All of these help reduce inflammation and improve overall heart health. Walnuts, in particular, are rich in alpha-linolenic acid, a plant-based omega-3 that works similarly to the kind found in fish. Almonds are great for vitamin E, which protects your cells from damage. One large study found that people who ate nuts five times a week had lower levels of inflammation and a reduced risk of dying from chronic diseases. The key is not to overdo it. Nuts are calorie dense, so a small handful a day is plenty. Choose raw or dry roasted nuts without added salt or sugar. You can sprinkle them on salads, mix them into yogurt, or just keep a little container in your bag for when hunger hits. Food 7. Ginger rounds out the list and it's more than just a tea flavor. Ginger contains compounds called gingerols and shogaols, which reduce inflammation by blocking enzymes that produce inflammatory chemicals in the body. It works much like anti-inflammatory medication, but without the side effects. Studies have shown that ginger extract can reduce muscle pain after exercise and help ease symptoms of osteoarthritis. Ginger also supports digestion and can reduce nausea. You can grate it fresh into stir fries, soups, or smoothies. You can even brew it into tea by steeping a few slices in hot water. If you want to keep it simple, powdered ginger works too, although fresh offers stronger benefits. Adding all of these foods into your diet doesn't mean giving up everything else. You don't need to be perfect, just consistent. The goal is to build meals around these ingredients. Start your day with oatmeal topped with berries and almonds. Add spinach to your scrambled eggs. For lunch, go with a salad dressed in olive oil and lemon. Toss in some grilled salmon or sardines for protein. Use turmeric and black pepper in soups, roasted vegetables, or smoothies. End the day with a cup of ginger tea. Even small changes matter. One teaspoon of turmeric, a handful of nuts, or a drizzle of olive oil may not seem like much, but when they're part of your daily routine, they add up. That's how you start to calm inflammation and feel better over time. No crash diets, no strange detoxes, just real food doing real work. If you're feeling bloated, stiff, or constantly tired, your body might be telling you something. And what you put on your plate today could shape how you feel tomorrow. These seven foods are a smart, natural way to give your body the support it needs without the guesswork or the gimmicks. Which of these foods do you already eat? Which of these will you include more of in your diet? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.